Hi everybody, I'm Jim Beauchart. Welcome back to my channel, where I give insight into the weekly Beauchart on Ken Heron's TNL Thursday Night Live. This is my episode number 24, which is his episode number 207, which aired on July the 15th, 2021. And you come from a long line of boneheads. This is the show you've been waiting for. At long last, my dream come true. This is the show that sets the tone. I can't sleep without a fluff pillow. This is the show that minstrels will sing about in 200 years. Is that so hard to believe? This is the show that Ken is even flustered to introduce. I don't believe this. The co-host is Sean Hickey, a.k.a. Geeks Vanna. You understand? And the picture on the wall is Greg Coonert, who helps Ken a great deal with his live streams. Oh, I understand. He's prolonging the agony. Well, let's get into this week's shenanigans and the introduction of the new character. Don't be funny. Okay, all right. I, th I think, and I, we're, now, I, let me tell you this. The weekly Beauchart is a masterpiece. <laughs> awesome. uh, and, I, and I say that in that you will either laugh or run terrified. And that's coming right up. But right now, before we get to the news, <laughs> I warn you. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I have to. There's a. There's an official name for this, and I have to warn those people. Oh. Is is this a trigger alert? The, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. And I'm not going to say what it is. I'm just going to play. I'm going to say the, the name of this thing. If you suffer from calophobia. Curlo, Carlo phobia, then turn off the stream right now because here it is. It's this week's weekly Beauchart. Hi, Ken. Jim Beauchart back again with another episode of the weekly Beauchart. Let's get right into it. It's a busy schedule today. We've got a new character coming on the weekly Beauchart Studios, and he's named after Ken's underwear. No, not crusty, extra medium. And here he is now. Both Ken and Sean are pissing their pants. Well done, Jim. Now you just stop that. Hi, boys and girls. This is your uncle, Extra Medium. <laughs> I'm here to tell some jokes and hopefully they're funny. My sexy neighbor told me her underwear kept going missing from her clothesline and that she was going to report it to the police. I almost shot in her shorts. What do you call new underwear? Uncharted territory. <laughs> William Shatner wanted to start up a new clothesline of female underwear. Unfortunately, Shatner panties wasn't the brand name he was looking for. What type sorry. of underwear does Laura Croft wear? Fruit of the tomb. <laughs> Did you hear the one about the guy with five penises? His underwear fit like a glove. Oh God! The jokes were obviously underwear related. Where did your mother and I go wrong? Well, thanks, Extra Medium. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of him soon. I did have every intention of bringing this guy back again. You're only going to end up with a bent fork. And now a quick one, because we are running out of time. I just came back from the eye doctor. He says I'm colorblind. The diagnosis came right out of the purple. On that note, <laughs> buh, and bye. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Oh, Your thoughts, what? Sean? I, I just, I mean, the visual was bad enough. Yeah. Um, and, and so shocking. Jim, you're an absolute genius. Uh, Andy Kaufman, uh, eat, eat your heart out. Uh, it, but it's, but it, it was the clown horn. Yeah. What was that from? A yeah. semi? That's like, that I like, don't know what he was doing, but it's like a rim shot. It's like, yeah. It's yeah. like, if the joke sucked enough where you don't, if you don't laugh on your own, here's where you're supposed to laugh. Even though I too realize who I reminded myself of. I was totally floored that Ken picked up on it, but even more floored that he brought it up. But I wasn't shocked that Sean didn't know who Ken was talking about. So you just think it over all you want to. But, uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Awesome. now, now, um, yeah, so he put a lot of work <laughs> in <laughs> clearly, but, uh, he reminds me of, he reminds me of, of another clown. Um, you, you oh. tell me if you agree. Um, I don't know. <gasps> uh, let's see. There's a uh, Beauchart, Gacy, 
Bo Shart, John Wayne Gacy. I don't know. What do you think, I, guys? Do you think? I, I don't know who that other person is, unfortunately. <laughs> well, he's one of the most famous serial killers in the world. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to go into the details, but the clown okay. was part of getting them into the van, I think. But uh, anyway, hey, Jim, hats off to you. Great job. Uh, I That almost triggered an emergency razz, but let's go ahead and get right into the news. Stop the music. It's time for news. Hopefully Jeff Sills isn't dressed up as Clarabelle. Let's go to the drone newsroom. What's happening, buddy? And poor Jeff has the daunting task of now following me, him, or others that are about to be created. Oh, very well, Master. I followed that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Man. Yep. I, I, I need to, I need to up, up my resume. All right. Or, or you need to get so. some makeup. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, and. Dynadrome says he hates clowns. Jim, sorry, Jeff, you had followed Jim. Yes, uh, he went all out for the uh, <laughs> weekly bow chart this week. Thank you very much. I I love it when he does does uh, costume changes. Ken wraps it up with a comment from a super chat from Ben T with the reference to the five fingered underwear. One of my favorite jokes. I still got it, even in embarrassment. <laughs> oh, and Ben T, in at the wire with the five bucks. Thank you, Ben T. <laughs> Elexis, just be sure to get him five fingered underwear. Yeah. Once again, thank you, Mr. Beauchart, for that. That's awesome. Well, there you have it. The momentous episode number 24. I know I made you smile, so give me a thumbs up. But if I made you laugh, subscribe! If you haven't already, 